Hello everyone, Lakeisha McKnight is here. I want to welcome you to the Leadership TKO Global TV show. Welcome, where our focus is really to build winning leaders by way of TV and video. So again, welcome to this particular show. Now, on Wednesdays, we focus on building winning leaders because it's Winning Leader Wednesday. And so our focus, our topic specifically for today is giving you some tips so that you can lead your team to success. So for those of you who are entrepreneurs, let's dive into it right now. Hello, once again, welcome back. Lakeisha McKnight is here, and it is indeed Winning Leader Wednesdays, where we're building you up to become winning leaders so that you can really thrive and really succeed inside of your homes and organizations, as well as for those of you who are in business for yourselves. So welcome to this week's episode of Winning Leader Wednesday. Now, our topic for today is just really providing you with tips so that you can lead your team to success. Uh, because for many of you, you are in business for yourselves, and the only way to really build a strong business is that you have a team. And as a leader, it's important for you to be able to lead your team to success. So I'm really going to talk to you specifically about two specific traits, two things that you're going to need to do to make sure that you're leading your team to success. So the first nugget that I want to share with you right now is make sure that you communicate your vision to your team. I don't know how many times that I really have to emphasize that because it's so important. It's extremely important because people need to understand why they're doing what they're doing. Why have they decided to join your team? Why did they join your advisory board or your board of directors? They need to know why. So communicate your vision because your vision is going to share why. Your vision is going to share where you, as the visionary, see your business, see the company, see the organization in one to three to maybe five years from this specific point. They need to see where they're going. This is why it's called a vision. Without a vision, the people will perish. So please communicate your vision and communicate it clearly. And then number two, the second nugget I really want to share right now is making sure that you're confident. There's nothing worse than leading a company, leading a household, leading a, an organization, and you're not confident. You, you may sometimes become down and out. You may sometimes get discouraged. I totally understand. But you need to work on those things that you want to bring in your life, the things that you need that's going to help to build you up and pick you up during those difficult moments. We're human as leaders. Sometimes we do get discouraged. Let's just be honest. But at the same time, we need to know what is going to be our picker-upper, right? What is going to be that thing, whether it's music, whether it's going out for a jog, whether it's going and hanging out with friends, playing with your kids, what is it that's going to help to pick you up? What do you need to do to build your confidence? Perhaps it's speaking with your coach or speaking with your mentor that's going to help to build your confidence. Whatever it is, you want to write those suggestions down and keep them near and dear to you. Keep them at hand so that when those times that are rough arrive, you know how to pick yourself up. Because your team members, those connected to you, even your clients, need to see your confidence. So let's build up that confidence. Let's communicate that vision clearly so that we can lead our teams to success. Now, there is more where this came from today. Yes, it is. It's actually on the blog post, and it's in the description area or near this video. There is a link where you can go and visit the blog post because we wrote this information on the blog. I encourage you to visit the blog, to check it out, read it, and really begin to apply what had been shared. Also, you may see over here a little bit of a book. It's the 21, not, not the 21, the 12 
the 12 truths you need to implement to become winning leaders. And you and I, we were destined to win. So grab your copy on Amazon, look it up, Leadership TKO, 12 Truths to Implement to Become a Winning Leader and begin your winning streak today. Well, guess what? We've reached the end and we're gonna come back here tomorrow with yet some powerful stuff, powerful content on the blog, as well as perhaps via video on my timeline on Facebook. Let's connect. The information should be in the description area. But thank you so much, everyone. I don't want my book to escape me. So be sure to grab your copy. Uh, the win is indeed powerful today, uh, but it's a necessary thing. So thank you so much for watching. And remember, until tomorrow, until Wednesday, until Friday, until the next day, I encourage you to think, to speak, and to live leadership. <laughs>